Hi, I'm Matt Evans, and today we're going to be creating a nice shine effect with inside of Adobe After Effects. So this is what we're going to be creating, a nice shine gleam effect. And this method does not use any plugins, uh, not even the Trap Codes Shine plugin, which will get very similar results. But as you might have guessed, our method is free and just use the tools in After Effects to create this effect and uh, you know you'll be able to get great looking results just uh, just like the shine plugin itself so um, let's get started let's create a new composition I'm going to set mine as PAL DV uh, three seconds and we're just going to rename this shine oh shine okay so now our shine composition we're going to hit the text tool and we're just going to type some text in so gleam maybe, just type in gleam and just middle this okay so the first thing we want to do is also just duplicate our gleam layer so we have uh, two gleam layers and we're just going to push our gleam layer right at the top so it goes gleam and gleam 2 so on our top gleam layer we're going to hit effect blur and sharpen fast blur and this fast blur is going to be very small, uh, 1. And we're also going to hit the Gleam 2, the fast blur again. And this time this is going to be about 4. And uh, as you can see, we're still getting a nice glow effect. But all I want to do is hit T on Gleam 2. And we really want to lower this, maybe down to about 5%. And uh, you'll be able to see why later. So uh, now on to the actual Gleam effect itself. We are going to go on the Gleam layer at the top, hit Effect, Blur and Sharpen, CC Radial Blur. And we are going to change the type to Fading Zoom, uh, Quality all the way up to 100. And we are going to boost the amount to around 200. And uh, just hit Enter and see what happens. There we go, we get a nice gleam effect, and uh, you know that didn't take very long. Uh, this uh, does take up rendering time in RAM preview, so uh, maybe it's a good idea to change it to half. And uh, if we just, uh, just go through this uh, center point, you'll be able to see that uh, this effect is very nice and uh, very good for you know coming across from left to right, and uh, you'll be able to get uh, nice looking, nice looking results. So if we change this back onto full, just to see a nice, uh, good quality um, effect that we just created. And all that's left to do really is add some colour. So uh, also what I've added is uh, if we do a position in going from left to right, uh, this sometimes gets, uh, you know, gets closed off and we won't be able to see that. That's why I added this bottom layer just to uh, add to the more visibility of that uh, gleam. So you can, you know, you can always boost up the uh, opacity if you want. But, you know, maybe keep it quite a low, maybe 8, 7, something like that. Okay, so now on to adding colour. We're going to hit Layer, New Solid. I'm going to make sure it's a black solid. Hit OK. Black solid on bottom of all our layers. We're going to create a new adjustment layer. And now our adjustment layer is going to be our colour. So we're going to hit Effect, Adjust, Colour Balance. And we're going to give this a nice orangey fire effect. That's default in the uh, Shine plugin. So uh, let's preserve luminosity. And we're going to boost the midtone red all the way up to 100. We're going to minus the midtone blues minus 50. We're starting to get there. And our highlight blues minus 15. So there you go. You've got a nice fiery effect in your gleam uh, text you've created. And all that's left to do now is just add a nice animation going from left to right, just across. And, uh, you know, then you'll be done. you get a nice looking result. So if we just want to select our gleam layer again, hit effect controls. We're just going to animate the center point to go left to right. So let's toggle the center. And what I want to do is I'm just going to drag this uh, center point and just drag it left. Hold shift to just drag it a bit further in a straight line as you can see now that's on the uh, on the left maybe change the uh, quality to half 
And this time maybe uh, just a few frames later, um, around three, we are just going to uh, move this all the way to the right. So we select this again, hold shift, move it to the right, and uh, there we go. We've got it moved to the right. Now, uh, now our keyframe should work, and they've created other keyframes that uh, should create a whole animation for us. So let's run and preview this. As I said, uh, half should uh, should do good. As uh, this may slow down rendering times if you're you know using full. So as you can see, we're starting to uh, get a nice shiny effect, looking good and a nice animation we've created from left to right uh, nearly finished okay so let's just have a look now so you've created a nice gleam effect we uh, just change this to full again you have created you know a good looking shine effect and you've saved a lot of money maybe around hundred dollars and uh, you know there you go you've created a good looking effect uh, also another good thing to do is maybe change these to add um, you'll be able to see uh, you'll be able to see your gleam text uh, more clearly when it's running through the animation so that's pretty much it just uh, render that and you should have a nice looking uh, you know gleam effect uh, I do recommend you working 16 bits per channel and not eight, as you do get a much wider, you know, range of colours and, uh, you know, brightness and things like that. So just maybe change it to 16 bit or 32 bit, and uh, you know, you should be able to get nice looking results. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I'm Matt Evans from Evans Digital, and uh, hope to see you next time. Thanks.